What's good people, it's Jay Cactus. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make 808 slides for drill beats. This is actually by request from quite a few different people. So shout out to Sydney and the rest for the suggestion, but I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so here's a drill beat I've just been working on. I'll play you what it sounds like without the 808 and kick. Quite standard, there's some keys, a nice arp in there, some perks as well. I'm going to zone in on this part where the keys are a little bit more simple. And the first thing when it comes to 808 slides is actually choosing the right 808, so sound selection. So what I usually do is just play the beat and just have a listen to some 808s and see what sounds well just when I'm clicking it. So I like this one, I drag it in. And the next thing that I do is see what it sounds like as a slide. So instantly I'm going to right click here and select cut itself. And what that does is whenever you're pressing one note and then you press another one, it's going to stop playing the first one so they don't overlap. And that just helps cut out that muddiness. So what I'm going to do is press one note and then press another one octave up and keep going back and forth. Because that's going to give me an idea of what the slides are going to sound like. So I can do that with the beat. Right, so let's say you like the sound of that. The next thing to do would be to make sure that it's actually in tune. And to do that, you're gonna right click on here, edit in audio editor, come up to regions and select detect pitch regions. So this is already tuned to C, which is how you want it. If for example, it was tuned to D, you'd come off here, go into the middle one, and then right click on D here, right? So it's already on C, so I'm gonna right click again on that. And what that means is when you're pressing C on the keyboard, it's actually pressing, it's actually playing the note C in the 808. Because if this was pre-tuned to D and I didn't change that, whenever I press C, it would actually be playing D. And that's gonna mess up the whole sound. Right, so I'm actually using an 808 that I sound designed myself, the Cactus 808, which is this. So it's quite deep, but quite distorted as well. And I think it fits perfectly in drill beats. The next thing that you want to have a look at is the envelope, okay? So the envelope, the way I've got it set here means that the note's only going to play for as long as I'm holding the key. So if we just press it quick, but if I hold it, because if the envelope was off, if I pressed it, it's going to play the full thing. So all I did was bring everything down except for the hold. So I brought the delay down, everything else, and the attack, I've just put that a tiny bit because when it was normal, there's a tiny little clicking noise which I could hear. So the attack basically determines how quick it's gonna to get to the maximum volume. So if you just bring it up a little bit, it's gonna cut out that little click. So about there is perfect. So the next thing that you wanna do is take it to the piano roll. So I'm just gonna press F7. So now when it comes to keying in the 808s, like the beginner way would be to just do it on every root note. So I can see the ones behind, I'm just following them. But I don't really like that. I think it's too simple. I don't like the notes when they go that low. So I'm just gonna change it a little bit. And I'm just listening by ear. I'm just playing them in where I think they fit and where I wanna leave some space. So maybe something like this for now. Right, just something real simple. And that's just giving me the foundation of my 808s. The next thing that I'm gonna do is just have a listen with the beat playing. I work out in my head where I can imagine slides going, so. Right, so obviously I can't get the pitch right with my voice, but you get the idea. You just want to listen and think, right, where are these slides going to fit in? Or where do you want them to fit? So in my head, I'm hearing, I'm hearing four here. So I like to add them at the end of a bar, just before the next one. So if I want to add four slides in here, 
The way to actually create a slide note is you need two different notes. So you need one, which is an actual note, and then you need a slide note. So to get a slide note, there's two ways of doing it. You can either press S, which is the hotkey for slides, and you can see that it activates slide mode here, and then you can draw a note in. So an easy way to do it is just bring it an octave up. So I've got B flat or A sharp here, and then I'm gonna bring another one up here. So. Okay, the other way to do it is just to draw in a normal note or copy one, double click on it, and then press the slide key here, right? Now, when you've got a slide note, this is basically gonna bring it from A sharp four to A sharp five. You can see right there, it says slide to A sharp five. And the length of it determines how quickly it's gonna slide up to that note. So if it's the full length, it's gonna take that exact amount of time for it to get from A sharp four to A sharp five. But if I bring this back, it's gonna slide up much quicker. So it's gonna slide up and play for the duration of the note. So if I brought this back, it would only play this amount. Okay, now let's say you want it to slide twice. You could bring another slide down here. I'm just working in some of the notes that fit the scale. So that's just going, it's sliding up, then sliding back down. Now, because I've got this note, the full length, this A5, A sharp five, is only gonna get the initial punch. But if I cut this in half, this note's gonna hit twice now. So you should be able to hear it a bit more clearly. Right, I'm actually gonna mute everything else. Okay, so because I've cut it in half, it's hitting the note twice, which means it's getting that initial punch each time. Now let's say you want it to slide four times. What I could do is cut this again. So I've got four notes. And I can maybe add one down here, bring that back up. Add it again. So it's going up and down and up and down. I could bring it up or you could take it a step further, maybe bring this one up an octave. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna have a listen and see where I can fit the next one in. Now I'm just hearing two notes here. Just double check it's not in slide mode. I'm gonna come back in, accept that. Still a slide, take it out. And now you could repeat this at the next bit. So the root note I'm playing is G. You can see it here, but that's if it's there, it's just sounding a bit too low, so I'm actually gonna bring it up, and I'm hearing six slides here. So I'm actually gonna bring these out. Du -du 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 -du. Right, so du -du 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 -du. obviously that in my head is six, so I've got six here. Now I'm gonna make them slides. So quick ways to just duplicate this, control it up. To bring these, I'm gonna make them smaller. Turn them into slides. Bring this one back down an octave. Right, copy these across. So now I've got six. I'm gonna bring this one up an octave. You can just get a bit creative here, just try different things. Or you could go a bit crazier and make one of them two slides. So maybe something like this. So that's one. Right, so I've cut that. So it's sliding quick. It's going up, back down, up again. So let's listen to this now. Right, now 
let's say you want that for one pattern, but the next one you want to switch it up. So I'm just going to copy this across, make this one unique. And now I want to keep everything the same, but just switch up the end just so it's a little bit different. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use the same note that I've played here, but I just brought it down. And then at the end, we'll use G again, but I'm going to create a delay effect. So I'm going to have four, copy these up again to G just to keep it simple. In fact, I'm going to make Make it a slide first. I'm going to copy this one down. So it's going to be a bit similar, but I'm going to create that delay effect. So I'm going to chop all these in half as well. Maybe bring these up. Right, but now I'm going to highlight them and then with the velocity, I'm going to gradually bring it down. The velocity is the volume if you don't know. So maybe something like that so you can still hear the last one. I like that and I'm going to take it a step further by going to control, pan and then do something similar. So now it's going to go from the right to left ear. If you did it the other way, like bottom to top, let's just try that. Starting off left, going to right. Okay. And now an easy way to put some kicks in is just to copy the 8 weight pattern, go to the kick. So to copy it's just control C, go to the kick, control V, come into the kick. Now, obviously you don't want kicks everywhere. It gets a bit too busy. So for now, I'm going to press E. So it's the select tool. I'm going to get rid of all the slides for now. And then I'm going to press Control A, Alt and K. And that's going to bring everything down to C, which is where my kick is. I'm also going to bring these back to zero. That's just the pan. I don't really need the kick pan. And I'm also going to get rid of the kick at the end because I just want to hear the 808 delay in there. So I don't like too many kicks. And then to mix them, I've just got them set up to sidechain. I don't always use sidechain, but you can see for this one, I've got it linked to the 808. And then I've got a bit of saturation on the 808. So that's just going to bring up the high end just a little bit more. So I'll show you without. It's a subtle difference, but that's going to help it cut through on phones a bit more. So in my kick, all I did here, if you want to sidechain something, just go on the kick, right click on the one you want to sidechain it to, and then select sidechain to this track. So I've done that for the 808, then it opened a fruity limiter. You go to compressor, you right click on sidechain and select the kick that you're using. Then you're going to bring the threshold down. Okay, bring the ratio up. The attack is how fast you want it to kick in and the release is how long it's going to take for it to go back to normal. So play around with these settings. You don't want to go too crazy with it because you still want to hear that 8 weight. Because we show the extreme. You can't really hear the 8 weight then. So bring the threshold up a bit, the ratio back. So what that's doing is allowing the 808 to duck every time the kick hits. But I just want it for that initial kick punch, as you can see here. I don't always use side chain, but I feel like with drill beats, you're using a lot of kicks, heavy 808s, and sometimes they tend to clash a lot. So that's why I use it in these cases. So it's just a quick one today. As I said, I had a few requests for 808 slide tutorials, so I just wanted to show you my process. 
and my thought process as well when I'm selecting 808s and implementing them. So just have a listen to the beat, play some 808s and see what fits well in the track and then have a listen to the slides in your head, try and hear them and then that will determine how many notes you need to create those slides. But I hope you liked the video, hope you took something from it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.